Having good security can make you feel confident and safe. Just like you might add a security gate, video system, or watchdog to protect your home, there are many things you can do to protect your network. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll go over some of those basic steps you should take to secure your network. Next. First things first, I'd like to chat about your trusty password. It's important to keep it updated and complex. This seems obvious, but it is essential to set passwords for all devices, including your Cisco routers, switches, and wireless access points. Since many devices are plug and play, it can be easy to forget a password. So be sure to keep it documented and in a safe place. Luckily, setting a password is easy. When you first sign into your device's web interface, you put in Cisco's default username and password, typically Cisco for both. You will then get a prompt to change your password. In addition, it's a good idea to change your password every few months to make sure the limited people that need to know it can have access. Why would that matter? <laughs> Things happen, including employee turnover. As a helpful feature, some Cisco devices will prompt you to change your password after a couple of months. Now that passwords have been covered, let's talk firmware. You should keep up to date by making sure all your Cisco devices are running the latest firmware. Even if your device is new, it may not be running the latest version available. Firmware updates have benefits that might include repairing security holes that have been discovered or fixing and removing bugs. Not only that, but updates may load your device with new features or even improve existing ones. How do you know if you're running the latest firmware? I'll show you. Sign into the device web interface and click on System Summary. Here, you can see the firmware version that is active on this device. Next, go to Cisco's website to see the latest firmware version available and compare. To do this, go to cisco.com, select Support and Downloads, and enter the equipment series name. This brings me to a support page with all kinds of information, including firmware to download. If you need assistance with the process of updating firmware, there are several related articles and videos on the website as well. Once you have all your firmware up to date, it's time to get educated. Learn all about your Cisco devices. There may be a lot of advanced options for network security available to you. For example, if you have a Cisco router, you can utilize the features of the firewall and access control lists. If you have a managed switch, you can set up port security and disable unused ports. Depending on your equipment, you may also be able to set up and utilize security options, including umbrella, application profiling, web filtering, or web route. Be sure to check out the specific features or licenses available by viewing the administration guide for your device reading community articles from the support page, or even viewing another Cisco Tech Talk on video.cisco.com. Last but not least, get your employees educated too. Teach employees that even simple actions can have huge consequences. It may be an innocent click on an attachment in an email or briefly visiting an insecure website. These small actions can cause a breach and lead to problems with network security. You certainly don't want viruses or unapproved people accessing your network. Cybersecurity and employee training is worth the time and effort. If you follow these practical steps, stay diligent, and explore additional security measures, you are well on your way to maintaining a secure network. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.